Our temperatures will fall from the 60s. 59 degrees by 7 p.m., 57 by 8. By 9 o'clock, when we chat again, 54 degrees with a few clouds that are out there that will start to even thicken up a little bit. Trouble is, we have a super moon tonight. Uh, I know a lot of folks are a little curious about that. It is known as the flower moon. Makes sense for the month of May. Last super moon of this year, though, so hopefully we'll see a few breaks in the overcast. It'll appear about 15% brighter than a typical full moon. That's the only difference you're probably going to see if you can break through the cloud cover. And some clouds will start to clear. It'll be cool and dry. Need to maybe have that jacket on. 44 the temperature for the evening hours through the overnight with a west wind at five miles an hour. Then on Thursday, cool to start. Clouds invade. Impact noon and beyond with chances of rain and showers. Take a look at First Alert Future Scan along with me. We start off with a clear slate, and then as we go toward the early morning hours, that's when we see rain showers start to move in, and even a little bit of a thunderstorm activity, I think, farther south. I think for us it's just going to be a steady rain, noontime for sure. Better chances of rain toward the afternoon and evening hours, slackening off a little bit, so it's like midday, the better chances. And then a third round tries to set up shop. First portion of Friday not lasting all day. Exclusive first alert nine day forecast has our temperatures staying in the cellar 58 for a high on Friday. Saturday look at the low on Saturday morning 36 with the afternoon high of about 65 degrees so frost is possible then. Mother's Day 64 the high temperature. Monday 60 degrees. Tuesday also 60. Heading into Wednesday that's when the temperatures start to bounce back a little bit. Chance of thunderstorms then also rain on Thursday, but it gets back to normal. 51 in the morning, afternoon high of 71. Friday, a high temperature of 74 degrees.